Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues, the ADC series in which we're playing the Chichen Itza. I'm your host, Mr. Nuka-Cola Lover, but the robots of Moctezuma. I've always been dimly aware of Tlaloc. Ever since his destruction of the, uh, of the vast Atzalan forces, a move that enabled us to fend off Atzalan forces attacking our lands too, without a grudging respect for his robots, however. Tlaloc is no more. The years of infighting within his subroutines have finally killed the personality we once respected, and replaced with three far worse foes, one of them styling himself Moctezuma after the Emperor Aztec of old. Seems really bent on destroying the Az restoring the Aztec Empire, his historical devil once held. The robot seems to care not who he must kill to achieve his goals, and Atzlan and Itzan alike have fallen foul of his robot hordes. To make matters worse, our troops seem to fear his robots, drastically reducing their willingness to hold the ground disasters at the doorstep. Our men are falling back in terror at the sight of them. Make a conflict with Moctezuma somewhat harder recommended. Hmm. Deal with the AI. Our priests have warned us of these monstrosities. Makes it a little easier. Well, you know, let's take a tougher, more tougher one. The artificial governor of Mexico has always been a problem without an easy solution, with the death of Tlaloc. This problem has gone from bad to worse, and although it may wound us, actions require. The rogue, unstable mind now in charge trains wipe us out, and we need to begin making our moves. Pretty much. Oh, what is this? Place pressure on Castacoff and Cosenata. Or we do this one. Deal with the technocrats. Uh, did this one earlier? For the longest time, our northern border has been uh, with Petrico, an nation of techno tribals who may be a, quite a damper on a runaway expansion. What's more, they seem to be under the thumb of a greater power who guide them some way or another. To move forward, we must handle both the tribals and force and the force that stands above them, whatever that may be. Cool. Oh, we came to this one. Oh, that really sucks. Unified fighting force? Well, next time, I was my bad. I should have realized that we should have done this one. Yeah. Deal with the Mayo de Doros. Well, they aren't perfect. It's state does not warrant a total delusion instead. With some careful reform loyalists in key positions, it can be molded into a formal marine force. A force discipline. The Mero de Doros are cut above the masses of our army and serve as skilled tac tactical uh, shock troops both in the field and at sea. Despite this, they reflect the state of our military being routed and subordinated at times. If we were to go forward, we must instill a greater sense of loyalty and unique cohesion in the forces. That'd be probably pretty good to do. Um, Regimental Pride? As the Mero de Doros expand and their actions become legend, they become assault after position amidst our military. There is no lack of soldiers with an initiative and skill to join the ranks, and now they are beginning to be jump at the opportunity we should consider incorporating them into the marine divisions. Ooh, armed crafts. Increasing naval capabilities. We should rather further train our uh, troops in the arts of amphibious invasions, so they can be swifter to execute should we need them in the future. Increasing naval capabilities. Uh, this one needs this one too. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, encourage officer promotion. For special forces to succeed, each and every man of the bunch must be well trained and well learned. Every Mero de Adoro must be bold and cunning and have a deep understanding of tactics and warfare. It just so happens that these traits are just as ideal for a group leader. We should consider drawing our military leadership from the ranks of our special forces. And now we're here back at the grind. Just my god, this war sucks. It really sucks. I didn't know what, like, Division de Wacht? I did. Were we supposed to use that one the entire time? Because, like, eventually I did find that we could switch over to our Division of Del Ejercito, which is 20 combo with, which is decent. But, uh, yeah, this war sucks. I hate this war. It's god-awful. I hate fighting down here. And most people, I think, fi hate fighting in Mexico in general. It just it just really sucks. I hate I hate fighting in Mexico so much. It's just a bore, really, for the most part. That's why when you get out of Mexico, it's much more interesting. So, uh, We've been just doing a lot of research and whatnot. We we've killed off most of the divisions. I mean, the war is basically won. It's just a matter of getting basically to the capital city. Again, Tepic is a bit... Honestly, it's a bit, just way too far. It's <laughs> just a bit too far. For us to really say, yay, yeah, let's do this again. So, yeah, I don't think it should be all the way up there, but whatever. I'm not the devs. The devs do pretty good overall, though. Can't complain against them too much. Just enough. But, yeah, there they go. Bye-bye. Infantry just sucks. It doesn't help that infantry is just garbage. Uh, Republic of the Rio Grande. We'll see how far we have to go. We might have to go to all Mexico. Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. Thank God is done. Uh, we don't have any more focuses actually. We've just been doing construction engineering. Um, this class eight of our team. One last five pressure. Okay, come on, stop it. Uh, let's see. Maybe do some tea here too. Uh, crush Petro Chico. But simple, but there's no action, but drastic action. For as long as Petro Chico exists, it will be dangerous to our nation, and there seems to be no peaceful way to handle them. They believe it with intensity. That the end of the world will come again, and we'll fight the very last. If it means protecting their people from it, we must become their apocalypse. Well, Petro Chico looks like it's gone right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Coast is probably next. Yeah, with our lack of technical prowess, it's just it's gonna be a grind. Also, we did have Razor Conscription level two, so like it's gonna be a little bit of it's not gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be a giant mess. Mm 
anniversary of the American occupation. Um, you guys already kind of have it there. I don't mind doing this here, maybe. Yeah, I hate that we just cannot edit divisions. That's the biggest thing. I hate, hate, hate this nation. Because you cannot edit divisions, which I don't understand why. At the very end of the tree, you should be able to at least edit them. Hopefully we can, but there's no guarantee, of course. Oh, we didn't do this one yet. My bad. I'll do that one soon enough. Uh, pick up the debris. That's on a goner oldest enemy vanquish. In the aftermath of our triumph, we must enter a period of consolidation, incorporating what was once our enemies and making our own. Their lands, resources, and people are now ours, subject to the motto of the great na it's a nation. Yeah. So, for the remnants of the former core territories, which is nice, special projects abound. Which is so nice. At least a common weapon, at least that's good. I hate how backwards we are, though. I, like I said, I just hate, 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 hate how backwards we are. I mean, you can get increased your technology once you, if you went with Karak Guzman, but we're not that person. Not for this campaign, very least. Let's do the AI. Uh, war with the, these guys. Prepare fallback lines. Oh. Anti aircraft. Yeah, we'll this one too. Why not? Oh, yeah, we've got this over here too, but we're not quite there. Ready to make that stuff just yet. Above aerial harassment, production stuff. Five research shots are nice though. Uh, huh. So it looks like we will have to go up this way too. Um, it's probably not worth fighting these guys yet. It's probably just best to fight the Texas chapter and the Republic of the Rio Grande, which is going to be a gigantic slog, but maybe not with no manpower. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, Coast is going to have to die though. Yeah. Bear the fallback lines. The enemy faces a mighty one is an industrial military strength presented an existential threat to its and its people. The synthetic threat we face unerring and easily replaced. And begin, we can't expect to hold our line. Fortifying deeper inland and preparing for a defensive war will be key. Prepare industrial evacuations, maybe. If we have to. As it stands, our industry extends too far out from our capital and is no greater risk. And so is the greater risk of both bombing and occupation. We must consider. The possibility that we'll be fought all the way back to the Chichen Itza itself ensure that we can continue supplying and equipping our army in the face of such dire odds. Where's the Caponata? Because we have everything done over here on the left. As I mentioned, we need to go to war with these guys. Which shouldn't be god awful, but you know, you never know. And then eventually we want to go to war with the Republic of the Real Grand, yeah. That's a lot of manpower. God dang it. Why is it always so so much? Going with these guys, then going all the way through here. Because they're still fighting the war against Imperio Mexicano, which I'm kind of okay with. But still. The Texan chapter has no manpower to... Oh, wow. Did they actually win against them? Wow. It's a little impressive. Usually you don't see that happen. Doing the best we can with whatever we got. How many more days left? We're about halfway there. Which the game is running incredibly laggy, which does kind of suck. Man, that felt like it took a while actually for us to get to this point where we can go to war with them. We're doing okay, but you know, it's only the beginning stages of the war. I don't really want to call them in. I want them all to ourselves. Because I started calling a lot of the it's in territory. I mean, we have 1,600 political power, which is decent and nice and all, but you know, it's not enough. It's never enough. Can we actually push through or not? Like, come on. I hate, I just, like I said, I hate how we cannot edit divisions. That's our biggest factor. Like, just please, for the love of God, let us edit our divisions. I don't understand why you cannot. Especially when you get close to the end game. Take it on. Looks good for the next year, which is not bad. We're done with our uh, stuff up there. Um, verifications are okay. Look at this. Hey, nice. 
Come on, push through, push through. How did you lose so much of your manpower so far? Very sturdy, it's nice. How did you... Come on. Please, just seriously get rid of them. Because these, these guys will be for the next episode. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. Good. Looking down here. Ah, oh, Mr. Stranger, they could use that. These guys, expert health spider, that's fine too. There's pretty gosh darn hilly there. Yeah, just keep him in place, that's fine. Thank god those guys died. Uh, did we break through? No, we just lost so much manpower, it's not even funny. So you're done. Like, I hate infantry. Infantry is such a waste in Old World Blues. Like, it seriously is such a waste. There's literally almost like no point to have it. Especially when you're so technologically backwards. It's not fun. It's seriously just not fun. Dude, can we actually record this? Oh, look at that. 210. Only a tenth of a million, that's all. Nice. That should make things pretty smooth and easy for us then. Come on, step on, kill them all. That's all you have to do. Nice. Saws. It's good. It's not bad. them off and then we can send these guys up to the front line too. Yeah, no, Mexico is just a giant freaking slog to fight through. How do we not get any more manpower after coring all that? Over a hundred thousand people live there. Yet it wasn't enough still. I do not understand, my friends. I really don't. As he gives her stuff back, it's good. Oh, thank God, Jesus Christ. Alright. So, where are we at next with this? Well, looks like we'll just have to go straight to war, exploit the remnants. With Petro uh, Chico gone and the land's now ours, it's time to come figure out how to piece of promises we take him. The things we found within their borders, most prominent is a series of pre-war complexes. Things run down. Those buildings will be useful in expanding their industry in the new land. Scams ruins. Tech success as they were. Better Chico to talk about his electronics pre-war technology. Even if they didn't know how to use it. Though these hordes may be well hidden, finding them making use of the materials will be will be a great boon to our nation after all. We know these more resources and force military rule eventually, too. Though Better Chico defended the valiantly, we don't completely purge the people from the lands they once held. We hope to have integrated the majority of the populace, but it seems that there are many who will not come quietly. Military occupation of the provinces and the prompt removal of these more unadapted elements will also interfere with Petrochico fully. But I think I'm going to end up there. Uh, Apollo is just really short episodes. It's just at the time of this recording, I have to be somewhere else. But it is what it is. And honestly, if you go to one of these guys, they might actually do really well to listen. So, but if you do the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see what we can do. What else with the Chichen Itza. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.